a little bit dismal <laughs> when here it is not even five o'clock and I am pretty much wrapped up and ready for bed. I'm not going to go to sleep, of course. Keep myself occupied somehow for at least a few hours until it gets totally dark. But uh, yeah, I only did a little over seven miles today, but my feet got totally soaked, like fully drenched, completely submerged <laughs> at a water crossing, so I am not going any further. And I don't think my shoes and insoles are going to dry out before tomorrow, but yeah, it doesn't really seem like I could have a fire very easily. It's been raining for a couple days now, and all the wood that I see around here is pretty wet and uh, I just dried off and changed into everything that I have that is dry so I can keep warm because it actually is pretty cold or you know chilly with the wind and everything out. Uh, I am on uh, the side of a mountain called Little Bigelow and tomorrow there's a couple of peaks, Avery Peak, uh, maybe a couple others that uh, are supposed to be pretty spectacular but uh, the views anyway of course uh, it doesn't sound like I'll be getting any views which is unfortunate but hopefully I can do the 10 miles to the next shelter and then drop into town the next day for another mail drop and uh, perhaps a night at a hostel. Um, maybe with a TV and some uh, heat and dry environment. <laughs> um, but yeah, still having fun. Didn't see anybody today except for uh, three day hikers. So no through hikers, uh, which is... I guess the first, the first time that that's happened to me. Uh, and it, it looks like, unless somebody else shows up, which is probably doubtful, looks like I will be spending the night alone tonight for the second night in a row, which is also, I think, the first time that has happened on this trip. Uh, but we got to keep the spirits up. And we're living out in the woods, so that's good. Rock and roll. Might eat another meal later. Uh, might have some more tea. Uh, be well. We'll talk to you later.